No. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Um What's the book called? I definitely haven't got it. Defender of the people. Not that. Uh, right, guys, I know we've just, we've been all sneaky-like, and we've, we've stealthily made our way all the way over here, but I haven't got what I need. We can't even go back to camp. Oh, Christ. Um. A long way to go still. Is it on Karlak? Let's be on Karlak. There was a book about something and we needed to do lightning. This is not preemptive murder. Unless preemptive means it was always a potential option before you did the crime. Uh the 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 sneaking. No crimes have been committed today. Oh. Oh. No time for Danny. Where am I needed? You're going to make me waste lightning arrows, aren't you? I suppose all the constructs are dead. Aha! It is! Right, let's turn you... Right, everybody out the way. Shadowheart, you're going to get shot there. Hmm. What to do? I love that it just gives Guiding Bolt all the time. Oh, the sack survived. It is time to venture into the secret passages under the cave. My heart has just started racing because I've realized what we might actually be looking for. Mouse hole. I'm way too big. But hold on. Um, oh, we have two of them. Suddenly, you're just gas. Eh? What did I see? This is just a secret, isn't it? This isn't actually anything that we can do anything with. This is just a cool little secret. We're so late in the game, I don't actually think it matters. Go dig. Dig, boy, dig.
Uh, I'll take it. That's one of the better chests we've had for a while. And I'll take this stuff. Uh, it's Rogue's Morsel that makes potions, isn't it? Oh well, do we might be able to do something with this when we bring Gale back into the party. I wonder how it actually feels to be turned into a gas. That's for 10 turns, right, okay, that's fine. And we will short rest, so oh, we'll get his spells back. Going a little longer now. You better keep going. They weren't lying, there is a place here. The game is giving me a fire arrow. You, uh... You doing alright there, pal? Do I need Will to lead? We're in the worm way. Oh god. Incredible. An elf and a bronze dragon. Allies in sea. Alderaan and his winged ally admiring the fruits of their labor. The city itself. Was Baldurin an elf? Alderaan sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over his city. Do the histories make mention of this? Journal of Past Adventures, number one. Is it a dragon that's at the end of this? The worm's lair, incredible. The legends are true. And we're making up and we're marking our place among them. We'll prove our worth with unrusted swords and meet the dragon, the good dragon. Or so we pray. Gods bless our endeavour. I'm guessing they met the dragon and they died. What I'd love to know is, and this is probably more D&D &D lore post Baldur's Gate 2, is there ever been a mention of a dragon or is this brand new official canon D&D &D lore specifically done by Larian? The statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Baldurin, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent, should my domain drown in torment. Be you the deluge, Turn away. Be you the hero. Answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no worm and no savior. Fuck you, Emperor. Examine the statue. Because I'm good at this stuff. What magic might be at work? Uh, Shadowheart, help. Do I need a 15? Uh, I need to roll an 11. Oh, we love it. We'd have failed that on a negative alone. You sense We'd have passed that. Life nor spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. What are you? What is this place? The statue gives no response. That is not the right question. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansor, hear me. 
A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Wait, we never said anything about a test. And we don't have the book. And I can't get the... Can I go back to camp? I can. Here's a question. Do we do this smart? God, I've got all these autosaves to get rid of. Do we do this smart? Go back to camp, find the book, do it properly? Or do we just do it the Todd way and go rushing? I've answered my own question, haven't I? Oh, look at this place. How old is this place? This is cool. We're going to explore every inch of this place. Hmm. Definitely the Todd way. Yeah. Yeah. So... We just wing it, basically. Is his sword in a different hand? It is, that's a different statue. The different poses of Balderon. Justice, knowledge. Strategy, leadership. There's a, a hard light gate there. Right, well I can get across there, no problem. So that is that, that is that, that is that, no, that is that, and that is that. Uh, it's a chess piece. I think. Is it not? Is that not a, like the horse from a chess board? Whatever it's called. The horse? It's a horse. It's not a knight, it's a horse. That base, when we were zoomed in on his groin, that base looks a lot like a compass. Like an oldie worldy six sided compass. Right, let's go down the justice route because obviously. No time to rest. We're just and heroic, and we don't murder everybody for a laugh. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Everybody Restore upstairs. The balance of justice. By restore, do you mean pocket the gold? The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. Right. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, giving an apple to a smiling urchin. Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. 
She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. It's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. Or a dragon. Well, we passed something. The chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. Looks more like Jesus in the Final Supper, or Last Supper, or whatever it was called. The Judgment. A stern judge, an his apple. pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. So we found the D&D version of Robin Hood. Something in there. The judge. Okay, so we can attack. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Okay. A dozen gin is, yeah, pretty powerful. Look closer. The judgment. Oh. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. I was thinking, do I have an apple to throw at him? I have a, mm, it's a poisoned apple. Still an apple. I have a red apple. So there's three paintings here. Part of me is thinking that I need to switch these paintings. What if? Right, so all I can throw is this poisoned apple. You didn't want an apple. I have the wrong character for this kind of stuff. I hadn't expected puzzles. Is the Great Worm really hiding behind tests of this kind? I'd expected feats of strength, yes, but nothing like this. Like it was designed for sport. A smart man might understand this. Will. A hero at heart. 
Will can see through magical darkness. There's no expelling the dark aura. Not while that thing still stands. Do you really want me to kill it? Because I would. I mean, if talking to it has failed. Oh. He is immune to everything. Hmm. No, the judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. What crime was committed? It's not like you'll miss what he stole. Right, he doesn't want an apple. I can't take this, can I? I can attack it. That's 50 health. Now I just lost a painting. I'm going to load that back in because I don't think I should be destroying paintings. I have a feeling there's a painting that we need to find to put on that plinth. I, yeah, I agree with dispelling the justice because it probably wasn't very just. The one in the cell is the correct one to put, but we can't pick them up. But I can pick them up from here, which seems odd. Shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Shadows are blocking me. Right, get ready with your print screen. That's a guy in a cell. Target is too far. Who's got strength? Shadow Hat, you've got strength. Let's get on with it. This way. That's a picture of people. Oh, that's a man hanging. Right, so that is a guy in a cell. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. This is a picture of gallows. And everybody singing always look on the bright side of life. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. What do you say to that? With you. His reckoning must come. Death is the price. The price. Right, okay.
So it is gold. How much gold do we give him? Oh, I would love this game to have a dispel magic. What if I give him three gold? Ah, way to ruin my fun, Larian. Justice, um, dispense justice, scales, there isn't any scales. With you. His must come. Death is the price. Nine gold. Did make a deal of nine on the cloak. But nine gold is a lot, and that isn't, that's not, that's just doing one gold. Right, how about you have a void bomb? Okay, just, just, you know, just thought. What would give off light that I have on me? Because I don't carry torches. My faith will guide me. And you don't carry torches. And you don't carry torches. You do. Still breathing, despite everything. I need the book. What about, get rid of that, because I very rarely use it. Where is daylight? You, you do have daylight, right? Remove curse on the judge isn't a bad shot. Daylight. Level three. Daylight sphere. Just made it really glowy. Uh, you have curse. You don't. Scroll of Remove Curse, cast. May pain be forgotten. Good shout. Very good shout. Right, get rid of your light. Oh, it's up there forever now. Can't give up now. The hanging. 
A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. That links in. Freedom. Hands on it tonight. The red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood and a golden coin in his hand. A thief walks free. Is this truly justice? The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Restoring justice, right? Well, that would be justice. He serves his time. You are a paragon of justice. Told you. You guys never believe me when I tell you Todd's a paragon of justice. Are we going over the... Uh, Hard light gate, the hard light bridge. Yeah, it's just like Halo. Right, I like that. That was smart. Pan, stick around. We might, we might need your help. Oh, oh, oh! Flying book, flying box. Oh God, what is this place? good leader has the insight to find good counsel. As a war reaches its end, there is one who doesn't advise for the city's prosperity. Find him and strike him down. Wait, nah, hold on. I'm a, a hero, not a governor. Book stop it. Buck stop it, buck stop it, buck stop it. Right, okay. We're gonna play that game, are we? Hold still, will you? What's next, I wonder? Buck. Bloody book. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Right, sod the books. Hold still, will you? Oh. 